All right, so I want to talk about natural ways to get rid of pests. We're always going to have them, you know, we're always dealing with them. I have learned that plants do become naturally pest resistant when they have everything that they need in the soil. And this is because they can just produce more sugar content in their leaves. And insects actually have a really hard time absorbing or digesting high sugar content. So that's how plants become naturally pest resistant. But it doesn't mean that you're still not going to deal with pests. Like they have to survive too. It's the same thing that comes back to the yin and yang or the you got to have the good and the bad. And that's just always what it's going to be. So let's learn some natural ways to deal with them because you know, it's really not that hard. And there are so many effective natural solutions that you can use. So the first one that I want to start with is insecticidal soap. Insecticidal soap is beautiful because it's so easy to make. You can make it with ingredients that you have at home all the time. Pests never become resistant to it. And they don't become resistant to it because pests, basically any you know, indoor insects, anything other than hard shelled insects like beetles, they breathe through pores on their skin. So by making an insecticidal soap, that solution basically coats their exoskeleton that they breathe out of and it essentially suffocates them on contact so you know they can't really change the way they breathe at least not in our lifetime so it's always going to be effective and all you need is a half a tablespoon of oil I usually use olive oil because it's what we have around but you can use vegetable oil peanut oil whatever you want coconut oil if you want to and then just some natural soap I like to make sure it's natural because if you're using certain types of dish soap they can have antimicrobial properties to them which can damage the microbial flora of the leaves and the soil as well which can just basically harbor more pests and disease so we don't want that so yeah just a half a tablespoon of oil some soap a couple drops is really all you need and a liter of water give that a huge shake and you just want to make sure that the oil is dissolved in the water that's basically the biggest trick and you can make a huge batch of this it doesn't go bad so you can keep it around spray it when you need it and it is a super effective cheap and easy natural insecticide second one i want to talk about is diatomaceous earth so diatomaceous earth it has been sold as a pesticide for sure for quite a long time um, but a lot of people that are in the houseplant world even the gardening world you know some of them don't really know about it or what it does and what it is it's actually fossilized microbes so it's the skeletons from certain microbes that are left behind and it creates this white powder and microscopically it's very very sharp and it acts as a desiccant so it dries things out really effectively so you know some people actually use it in their homes they'll put it in the corner of a room or a corner of a door where ants are maybe getting in and it just kind of kills the ants and gets rid of them so you can use it the same way but you can actually add it to water which is really cool so I like to add a little bit to my water and then spray that on your leaves and what will happen is that any insect that walks over it they'll basically be pierced by those microscopic sharp edges on diatomaceous earth and it'll stick to them and stick in them and it'll basically suck them dry so it just dehydrates them to death it's a little morbid both <laughs> the insecticidal soap and diatomaceous earth it's quite a morbid death for these insects but um, it is super effective and it works on all insects including hard-bodied ones like beetles so outdoor in the garden uh, so i've had a lot of people talk to me about you know lily beetles and diatomaceous earth would be a beautiful solution for that it's also got a secondary benefit in that it's very high in soluble silica or silicon uh, basically you know silicon is used to make computer chips we only have our phones and technology and computers because of silicon uh, solar panels are made out of it and soil and plants need it to survive as well and it's very hard to get soluble silica is what they call it in soil but diatomaceous earth is an amazing form of it and we've actually started adding it into our bios recipe as well because of that reason um, so yeah diatomaceous earth is a really great solution to use for pests I highly recommend it it's completely natural and you can usually get a food grade version of it as well so you know if an animal gets into it there's no issues at all you have to eat a very high amount of it to actually have any negative impact and there's a couple others you can use like i like sticking with those two because they're very effective you can use them interchangeably as well um, but other than that i do like to use essential oils as well um, it can be used as a you know preventative so the other two the insecticidal soap and the diatomaceous earth are great for preventative and control they will get rid of an of infestation that you have currently 
Whereas using something like essential oils is basically a deterrent for certain pests. Uh, most pests indoors for sure. So I like to use things like peppermint oil, cinnamon oil is a really great one, um, rosemary. There's tons of different essential oils you can use and I usually just add it to my insecticidal soap recipe but you can use it completely on its own with a little bit of soap added. Like anytime you're using any kind of foliar spray, I always recommend adding some form of soap to it because it actually helps coat the leaf entirely and makes it more effective. So you know, any type of essential oil is really great. Um, essential oils can also come from hot peppers as well. So you might have heard of people making, you know, like a hot pepper oil out of, you know, jalapenos, or I've done that before where you can either cook them in oil and then let that cool and that'll contain like all of the hot pepper oils. And you can basically just dilute that in some water and spray that on your plants. And that'll basically get rid of pests. It'll make any pests that eat leaves, they won't like it because they'll be digesting that capsation, which is the hot pepper spice. And that's pretty much what I like to use as my arsenal for pest control. You know, it's super effective, they're super easy, they're super cheap, and they're always gonna work, and I highly recommend them. So, you know, if you're looking for a new lineup for pest control, then these are the ones for you, I promise. You can make them right at home, completely safe, and uh, they'll make a world of difference for you.